So hello everybody, we are here with my dear brother, Prime Minister Marape. He came here, he took the commitment um, with me in Libreville to join the COP28 here in Dubai. Uh, you were quite skeptical about uh, this COP. We delivered some results or launched some initiatives, but I came to Papua New Guinea. A few months later, in July this year, I discovered a unique country. And I discovered a great leader and great people very much attached to the forest and forestry policy. And I'm convinced it's impossible to fix climate change without protecting our forests and especially our rain and tropical forests. This is what you do, what you want to do. This is why we launched together our first forest package and we conclude here $100 million financing for Papua New Guinea and Managala's Managala initiative merci, merci, merci. we met together in July and you will you will be able to protect the, the forest to protect the country protect the people Managala's and uh, their way to life to live but as well a sustainable way to live with and from the forest Mr. Prime Minister well thank you uh, brother merci beaucoup I just want to uh, appreciate your leadership globally speaking uh, you know Conversation on climate change is never complete without proper conversation on uh, forest conservation, forest resource management, uh, as well as the natural environment, natural ecosystem, including our oceans. And uh, my brother, I just want to commend your leadership. Uh, I wish all other uh, global leaders, especially leaders of the industrialized nations, uh, step out. Our efforts collectively to keep uh, planet Earth under 1.5 degrees Celsius is totally in vain if uh, nations do not preserve our forests and go into our forestation, reforestation, forest conservation. Uh, and you are leading the way in uh, getting nations to commit to uh, at least 30% of our forests being uh, preserved. Uh, with your help now, Papua New Guinea will uh, wrap up our drive to uh, conserve not just 30%, but possibly 50%, 60% uh, of our forests, which is a global asset. Uh, we are 6% of world's biodiversity. Uh, our 400 and uh, 62,840 square kilometers has 70% forest cover. That is a global asset, and uh, I want to thank you, uh, President. Uh, you are leading your country in the right direction, but more importantly, you're leading not just France, uh, you're leading Europe, and leading world leaders to come together to talk about forest conservation. Uh, you, it's uh, climate change conversation and effort for mitigation and adaptation is totally redundant or wasted if we don't preserve and conserve our forests. They are the lungs of the earth. The forests in its natural state are big carbon sink. They, uh, they uh, have the carbon sink propensity and potential as well as they produce oxygen. The converse, the opposite of, of, of carbon is oxygen. Human beings breathe oxygen to live. And that's what forest is all about. Uh, that's what uh, I, I, I see many leaders don't fo focus on forestry. You have come out and you are leading the forest nations in the right space and I want to commend your leadership. Look, that's the first time ever one nation uh, leading its nation to put $100 million aside for forest conservation. I thank you very much for this. Uh, PNG will now from here, not just 30%, but go beyond 30%, hopefully at least 50% or so cover uh, in as far as our forest is maintained. God bless thank you. you. And God bless the people of France. Thank you, Mr. Prime Minister, and thank you for, to Managas people. And we will do more. We will follow up and take additional initiatives in your country and all the countries. Thank you.